And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Bolton Wanderers, and they take on Queen's Park Rangers. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. And here's the starting lineup for Bolton Wanderers. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. The starting lineup then for Queen's Park Rangers. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Weir and that was a very fine read and a chance for him on the flank wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up Wallace he continues his run well just couldn't quite keep himself onside the flag has gone up Space afforded him. Decided to come in from the flank. It's there for him. What a vital intervention. He's given it away. I understand there's been a goal in the Stoke City game. Let's hear about that goal from Allen. It's a goal for Stoke City. Can they take the lead here? And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. So the corner played into the box. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Space and time for the cross. Turning inside, where is he going to go? Oh, a lovely ball. He just needs to remain icy cool. The opening goal, due reward for their efforts. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. Well, the pass makes the goal, Derek. Good finish, yes, but the ball through was brilliant. Slide rule pass. Well, let's have another view of that goal. One nil then. I understand there's been a goal on the Sheffield United game. Let's hear all about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Sheffield United. 19 minutes played, one nil. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. An awful lot of green space to run into. Can he take the chance? Routine, really. Oh, 
that's an interesting pass. And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. A second goal for them here. Josh Schoen. Phillips. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Not giving him a moment's peace. The hosts have really controlled possession. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. I'm hearing there's been a goal at Villa Park. Who has scored it? Alan. It's a second goal for Aston Villa. 32 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. We are. Greenwood. going to be and he opted for subtlety with the chip just over well I wouldn't take the chip on but he did he's a bit unlucky to be honest with you Derek ball Klein he's got space They've lost it. Delightful pass. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Klein. And he's got to clear his lines. Well, great read there to intercept. He must finish! And he knows he can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion all over the place? Weir. Wonderfully weighted pass. He's in position. He had just the goalkeeper. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, as we highlight him, you've got to say that he hasn't been playing to his usual high standards in this match. Normally so very composedly. Well, it's quite clear to me he's trying too hard. He's been desperate to get his team back into this game, but his form just isn't there, Derek, I'm afraid. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Weir. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Wonderful chance. Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact, does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. Well, let's have another view of that goal. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match.
Just looking ahead to another game coming up for you from the Championship live on EA TV. It's Bolton Wanderers facing Norwich City. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. And he takes on the shot. Ideal for the goalkeeper. for any keeper life is never dull in the championship live action coming up for you on EA TV it's Queen's Park Rangers taking on Stoke City yeah I'm predicting a cracker there both teams will have a real go at each other I'm sure we are Greenwood slipshod passing Half an hour remaining then. And news of a goal going in at Carrow Road. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Norwich City. 62 minutes played. 2-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. It might be on for them. The delivery. And unfortunate with that chip lead. Just over the top. Oh, he's done everything right. He's gone over the keeper. But unfortunately, he's gone over the bar as well. Cameron ball well real difficulty keep oh, this might pay dividends the offside flag had to go up and it did yeah look along the line look along the line we are Space and time for the cross. Excellent vision. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop it. Well, let's look at this again. We've all hit these in training. First time, bang in the back of the net. Look at the calmness of it. Technique, brilliant. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. And news coming through of a goal on the Sheffield Wednesday match. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a goal for Sheffield Wednesday. It's been scored by Barry Bannon. He showed great calmness and composure to tuck away the chance when the move seemed to have broken down on the edge of the area. 73 minutes played. Delightful pass. So a throw in here. Sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alan. To confirm Sheffield Wednesday have happy to take on the shot. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Beautifully disguised ball. And delivered towards the back post. And the danger cleared. Johan Barbe with it. Now just couldn't keep the ball. 
I believe there's been a goal on the Aston Villa match. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAdally. It's a third goal for Aston Villa. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. And a throw-in forthcoming. Well, we did have to cut Alan McAnally short there to confirm Aston Villa did score in that game. And their lead stands at 3-1. Weir. Excellent passing. The, fourth official has the referee's verdict is three additional minutes. minutes. Added time. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Duncan. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. And the referee says that is all for today. Looking position, you've got to say. Wonderful chance. Well, it's goal after goal. Have you got time for a few questions? Thank you for answering the questions.
Thanks, guys. Good to see you here. We'll get started with the questions now. Okay, yeah, no, no, we're done now. Sorry, sorry, we have to, we're done. We have to let them go. Thank you all. Great to have you along with us again. Welcome to Carrow Road, the home of Norwich City Football Club. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. Our football is from the EFL Championship in England. Norwich City against Bolton Wanderers. I love visiting this ground. Rarely been disappointed with the entertainment on offer. Don't think I will be today either. Really anticipating something special from him here today. The defenders would have spoken about him beforehand. Four in his last three games. What a handful he might be today. Here is the Norwich City team for you today. Tim Krul starts in goal. Tim Yedvai starts, looking to continue his good form at the back. And today, it's just a one striker in the side. Thank you, Caro Road. Enjoy Have a look the at game. the way Bolt Wanderers are going to play today with these players. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. In comes the challenge. Taking on the defenders. Able to make the interception. Penalty at Sheffield Wednesday. It's a penalty for Sheffield United. He's put the ball down on the spot. Up he steps. Lovely powers. And shoots. The shot is blocked. Bolton Wanderers, we look at the league table, getting some good times back again to uh, that part of the northwest. Well done to them. Well, who knows? It might be a flash in the pan. It is early days, but what a... The shot's off! Good block. Goal news coming in for you from the Preston North End game from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Leeds United. 11 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. We well, could be it. He's aimed for the far post here. 
goalkeeper, Krul has kept that out. Goalkeeper out of position, and from close range, he really should have scored. Well, he should. That was a golden opportunity spurned. Bolton back in possession of the ball. Well, that's what they've been looking for, the ball in behind. Just nicked it away from the attacker, the goalkeeper. And the pass not completed, really. Joseph Dermich. Please make yourself known to the nearest two. Thank you. Let's go over to Alan McAnally quickly for news of a goal in the Derby County match. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. 19 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Read the intentions. Slipping it through. He's in on goal. Oh, it's awesome. This attacking strength that they've got. They lead again. And they'll be feeling they're going to head for victory again. Such a difficult thing to score on a regular basis at this level of football. But they have found the answer. They've got the formula. Such a well-crafted goal, this. Lovely vision to find the pass, and what a tidy finish. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. He's not the easiest to manage to work for, I know that. But his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. It's Bolton Wanderers who are in front then here. There's been a goal at Villa Park, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Aston Villa. 27 minutes played, 2-0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Going forward with real purpose now. It could be a chance. Oh, it's a tremendous goal. Flag up for offside, it's not going to count. Well, really good organisation from the defence, and it was offside looking at it. Well, this must have been very tight indeed, but we get the advantage of another look that the officials, of course, don't. No, and uh, it was such a close call, but the defence had squeezed and caught the lad offside, although he tucked it away well. Low. Here's Julian Green. Keeping the ball and looking for an opening. This could be an opportunity in behind the defence. Well, that was pressure for the goalkeeper from that through ball. Low. To Green. Maybe he'll cross it here. Oh, an important interception that. Goal news for you from Aston Villa. From Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Aston Villa. 39 minutes played. 3 0. Cheers, Alan. It's a good pass in behind the defenders. Can he shoot? Off the bar. Back into play. He's got possession back for his team. Well, the has gone up for two minutes. There will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. They shielded it well under some pressure there. It's given away. Good vision here. Catching practice indeed for the goalkeeper here from that poor cross. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. One of the players that we really thought at the start of the game would be the sort of guy we're talking at the end for the right reasons, but we might not uh, mention him in uh, a positive way, the way he's played today. No, the heart's been willing, but uh, his teammate... <laughs> Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start.
and Green. Oh, he's true. Just seemed to be a bit too tense at the final moment, and it could have been an important moment for them. Well, I just thought it was careless, actually. Could cross it from here. Surely. Well, they're washing through again. So much attacking confidence. Another goal. They're two up now. All the prospects here are of more goals to come. They're the most exciting team that you could ever wish to watch. And they never really disappoint you. They make chances. But most importantly, they take their chances. Their efficiency in front of goal is phenomenal. Well, he's not going to miss from there. He was concentrated, had his head down, good connection. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Restarting at 2-0. We've got news of a goal from the Sheffield Wednesday match. Our reporter there is Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Sheffield United. 54 minutes played, 3-0. Well, so many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. I think we've seen it. The visitors controlling possession, and we've been treated to some really... Good football because with that possession they've created a lot of chances and made life awfully difficult for the opposition deserved leaders so far just take a note of this EA Sports coverage of the EFL championship fixture Norwich City they'll be facing Stoke City away from home yeah I've had a lot of support surely brave blocking Put the corner in the middle. Good anticipation by the defender. And the whistle has gone. Because the assistant flag for offside. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here substitution will take place well he's done his bit he got the goal that put his team in the lead can they hold that lead Clark Alan McAnally with a goal to tell us about from Aston Villa's game it's another goal for Aston Villa 67 minutes played, 4-0. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. Greenwood. Can he shoot? He scored! Well, how long's it been on? One or two minutes, I'm not sure, but he's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal. This is high class taking of a goal chance he's got so much subtlety to his game always produces when the pressure's on well let's take another look at the goal Well, we're underway again, and you just wonder how many more they can get today. 
Well, let's go over to Alan McAnally at Aston Villa. And Alan, I believe you've got a goal to tell us about. It's another goal for Aston Villa. 72 minutes played, 5-0. Thanks, Alan. Difficult for the defender against a player who wants to take him on like this. Man in the middle frustrated because that cross has gone straight behind. It is going to be a change here. And it looks like a strategic one. How about Bolton's next game? They're playing Sheffield Wednesday in their next match in the Championship. I think they're going to win it easily. Well, here they are, still probing away. Space for the shot! Well, they've worked the goalkeeper, but in truth, Alan, they haven't worked him very hard, have they? Yeah, you're going to have to do a little bit better to beat this keeper. Now the countdown is to ten minutes left. Clark. Greenwood to say cool brilliant defending it saved a certain goal he was almost wheeling away to celebrate that goal news coming in for you from the Preston North End game from Alan McAnally it's a third goal for Leeds United six minutes remaining 3-0 eagle eyes as always from Alan McAnally good reading of the by anticipating the pass time nearly up here and just throw it forward a bit to their next game well, Norwich City go up against Stoke after this, Martin. Can't think. Push back out into play. He's made the interception. Just one minute left on the clock. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. And here's the shot. It's a brilliant stop. In goes the corner. Goes for it with a fist. He can cross it now. Oh, what a happy goal scorer. He's found the way past the keeper once already, and now he's knocked in his second. And the hat trick is definitely on for him. Oh, it's smooth as silk that move, and what a cross in from that wide. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is it getting results out there. Well, the game petering out a little bit now, with both sides settling for what's on the scoreline that is the final whistle well at times you thought they got a bit greedy but why not I mean if you're on top of an opponent like they were here today rub it in well they did they were ruthless weren't they they put their faces into the dirt and uh, he's the hallmark of the top side he could cross it from here Just a couple of questions for you.
No more questions, thank you.